killed by somebody that hit him and didn't even stop to see if they could have helped him. Washington State Patrol officials said 35-year-old Robert Rathbon was killed sometime between late Friday night on December 8th and early Saturday morning on December 9th in Pulsbo. Hello. His family said Robert had been working as a pilot in Indonesia for eight years before coming back to the state and working as an air ambulance pilot in Port Angeles. His family said Robert usually drove home to Camino Island but chose to stay in Pulsbo for a night. He said... You know, this is a cute little town. And I said, okay, hon, well, stay safe. And he said, I will. And those were kind of the last words. Officials said Robert had dinner at a local diner and was walking back to his hotel when he was hit. We are wondering about kind of the path he took. Um, we do think he got turned around and was looking, you know, checking out the signs to know which way. You know, he needed to get back. We, A week we after the deadly hit and run, the family is hoping we, we to get some that. answers. We need help. Mm -hmm. We need help closing this part. We have not really had a proper time to even grieve because we're more, we're so focused on trying to find the answer of what happened to dear Rob. A $26,000 cash reward is being offered by the family and Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound. They're looking for any information that leads to an arrest. The, hills, the family uh, asks if anyone saw something to report it right away. Robert's family the said they need to understand what happened yeah. in order for them to move on. In Camino Island, Karina Vargas, Como News. And tonight, dozens of people gathered to remember her at a packed candlelight vigil. Como's Ryan Sims was there. Ryan, making this gathering all the more emotional is that it was just held feet away from where she died. And Jackie, family members say they chose that specific location for really heartbreaking reasons. That's because the victim was a domestic violence survivor and families say they wanted to send a message to her accused killer that she was loved and adored by many. Look at all the lives that she's impacted. Look at all the people that are here to honor her. For those who loved and knew Kayla Valley the most, the shock is very raw. The anger is very real. This didn't have to happen, that this senseless act did not have to happen. Among those paying tribute to this proud mom, one of her own kids. She was the best mom I could ever have. My brain actually refuses to believe that my mom is gone. A loving mother of four, illuminated by so many stories of her unwavering, unmistakable generosity. Kayla was a great mom. She took me in when I was six years old, and she was always there for me. She paid for piano lessons out of her own pocket for me and I really appreciate Kayla and she didn't deserve this. Kayla's ex-boyfriend, the father of one of her kids, is now charged in her death. Families say she was killed as she prepared to file a contempt of custody allegation against him. This is something that will be shown in court. Like in your face, Dwayne, in your face. Families say Kayla was emotionally abused by that man for years. They say he would tell her that nobody loved her. So to push back Kayla, against that. Thank you so much for all being here. Family had dozens of people show up here just feet away from his apartment where she was shot and killed. And even though you took her from this spot, these people still showed up to show you that they loved her. Kayla Valley, devoted mom, beloved friend to so many people. They came here because they loved her, and they came to this spot because of that love. Now, Kayla's ex-boyfriend ex is now facing a charge of first-degree murder in this case. He is currently locked up at the Pierce County Jail. Coming to you live from Seattle tonight, Ryan Sims, Come On News.